Hello everyone, this is Dr. Suresh and today in this video we will be talking about the Rappaport Lubring cycle. So in our previous videos we have already discussed about the glycolysis and uh, sequential reactions with energetics and now Rappaport Lubring cycle. What is Rappaport Lubring cycle and what is the connection to glycolysis? Right. And we are aware that glycolysis will be taking place in almost all the cells okay right uh, coming to liver cells hepatic cells renal cells cardiac cells uh, uh, neurons i mean like nerve cells intestinal cells okay and this rapaport lubring cycle especially takes place in rbc red blood cells okay so the composition of rbc when you are studying okay it is, uh, basically it is also a cell and it is also made up of subcellular organelles except mitochondria. Mitochondria is not available. Okay, and what's the function of RBC? RBC is having hemoglobin and this will be mainly functional for transportation of gases from lungs to tissues and tissues back to lungs. Right, further, so if all the subcellular organelles are available, the amount of energy which is produced for one performing one function, it is too much. So to subside us to reduce the amount of energy production, they have got only one metabolic pathway for energy production that is glycolysis and in glycolysis also the energetics are different in case of aerobic glycolysis and anaerobic glycolysis. Anaerobic glycolysis will be getting only 2 ATPs and in case of aerobic glycolysis total 7 or 8 based on the calculation ATPs we will be getting and that 8 ATPs or 7 ATPs in RBC that is also huge for a single function okay and apart from that because of this rapaport lubring cycle there is a production of a substance called 2,3 BPG that is 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate okay so from the intermediate compound of glycolysis that is 1,3 bisphosphoglycerate this 2,3 BPG will be forming that means transfer of phosphate group from first carbon to second carbon of glycerol hydride 3 phosphate to form 2,3 BPG which is a strong substance to helping in helping of unloading of oxygen at tissue level. So in rapaport lubring cycle, the production of ATP by substrate level phosphorylation will be prohibited, okay, and it will be bypassed. So by the way, it will be reducing the amount of ATPs uh, totally in RBC. So there is no net production of ATP when glycolysis take this route. I'll tell you why. So if you go through this rapaport lubring cycle, okay, so where we are at the level of 13 bisphosphoglycerate, okay. And because of the enzyme bisphosphoglycerate mutase, mutase is the type of enzyme which transfers the phosphate group from first carbon of 13 bisphosphoglycerate to second carbon of 13 bisphosphoglycerate and forming a compound 23 bisphosphoglycerate. It is popularly known as 23 BPG. Okay, so this formation not only helpful in reducing the amount of ATPs produced but also have a significance in unloading of oxygen because hemoglobin is having strong affinity towards 2,3 BPG rather than to the oxygen. So once hemoglobin uh, that, that means loaded hemoglobin with oxygen reaches to the tissue okay there there is availability of 2,3 BPG so this 2,3 BPG what happens it will go and bind in place of oxygen so unloading of oxygen is variantly taking place at the tissue level right so this 2,3 BPG again okay in other, in other tissues okay so this 2,3 BPG again converted back to 3 phosphoglycerate okay and the phosphate which is attached to the second carbon of 2,3 BPG will be released as inorganic phosphate with the help of enzyme 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate mutase okay 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate mutase Right, so here in, in a original reaction of glycolysis, 1,3 bisphosphoglycerate will be converted to 3 phosphoglycerate, where the removed phosphate from first carbon will be accepted by ADP to form ATP, that is a production of energy. But here in Rappaport Lubring cycle, instead of taking the straight route, it will be taking a bypass route, that is 1,3 BPG is converting into 2,3 BPG, and again 2,3 BPG is converting into 3, BP, uh, 3 phosphoglycerate, releasing phosphate as inorganic phosphate rather than donating it to the ADP to form ATP. So significance as I said it supplies 2,3 BPG uh, for transport of oxygen by hemoglobin and 2,3 BPG regulates the binding and releasing of oxygen from the hemoglobin and especially this 2,3 BPG present in erythrocytes which is acting as a buffer. So we are all aware there are different buffering mechanisms are there protein as a buffer so hemoglobin is nothing but a protein so which is also acting as a buffer this buffering activity to hemoglobin provided by 2,3 BPG. 
so that's all about rapoport lubring cycle okay thanks for listening thank you